Thanks for stopping by my channel. So today's video is going to be a follow up to my last video I did on these castle art pencils where we just did a really quick five minute video opening up the box and taking a sneak peek at the pencils inside. I did get a chance to swatch them and to do a little coloring on this page from Lana Green's Patreon page. Like I mentioned in the previous video, I was super excited to get these. I have been really waiting for a mainstream set of muted tones to come out and Castle Art is pretty popular in the coloring community so I think this might be maybe a trend, a new trend coming around for us. Maybe more companies or brands will be jumping on the bandwagon and hitting us with some more of these muted tones. Now these colors are not necessarily unique or new colors per se, but you don't really see the all the muted gray tones in one set together. I have a few um, friends actually discuss with me um, about, oh, maybe we could find some alternatives that actually have open stock that we can put together and see if we could put a little muted gray toned collection together. Um, I might do that in the future, see if I could find some good dupes, probably like maybe in the Prismacolors or the Hobines or something like that. I thought I would see what I could put together. What I thought we would do today, usually we'll do the swatching with you guys, but this is not the original <laughs> swatch sheet that came with the set. Um, I sat down to do the swatches. Um, and film it and I spilled an entire cup of coffee all over my desk and I was like ugh disaster but I ended up being able to scan this and print it out on just a regular piece of cardstock let's take a look I did take the pencils out of the tin already of course all this paperwork that I liken all this paperwork to like getting a brand new car but it does have some drawing tutorials in here, some tips on coloring, burnishing, join the Castle Club. I did see something when I ordered these. I ordered these on Castle Arts website itself that you would get some sort of downloadable coloring book. And I didn't see where you would get that. I didn't get anything, you know, when it came in the box or I didn't get any sort of email or anything. I think I wasn't logged in to my account when I ordered these because I just got so excited. I just went on there and I think I didn't log in. So maybe that's why I didn't get access to this coloring book, but oh well. All right, so let's get into, let's take a quick look at the pencils before we get to the coloring. So I did put my pencils already into a pencil case. Um, I put them, I grabbed the pastel tints and I put them together in the same case because I figured they would complement each other very nicely. And I did direct message Castle Arts and I asked, um, were these the same formula as the pastel tints? And they said, I got my, I got an email back saying, um, Yes, they are both a wax-based pencil, which kind of really didn't answer my question, <laughs> but um, I am pretty sure that they are basically the same kind of formula. I did think that the pastel tints seemed a little bit softer than these um, harmonious pencils. And if you want to just take a quick look at the difference between them, just physical difference, cosmetic difference. Um, the pastel tints are a glossy finish and where the numbers are is a little bit shorter than the harmonious pencils, but pretty much giving the same looks. I do like that the harmonious ones are a matte finish. It's easier to see the writing on them, especially for some of the lighter, the really light pastel tints. It's really hard to even read what it says. I am thinking the pastel tints might be a little bit softer just 
probably due to having more white in them than these harmonious ones. All right, so we're gonna start doing some coloring. We're gonna do some speed coloring. I'm gonna work on this sleeve and I'll flash the colors I'm using up on the screen and we'll talk a little bit more about this set. So Castle Arts is advertising this set as a palette meant to enhance and expand existing colored pencil sets. They're calling them unique and sensuous shades created by their team of experts in color science. So I am getting this information directly from Castle Arts paperwork that came in the tin. It says Harmonious is a range of 72 muted and moody hues, a softer palette not available from any other supplier, which as I mentioned earlier, it's not necessarily that these colors are unique. The color palette they put together is what I think they're calling a unique set of colors just put together as a whole that makes them somewhat unique to the market at the moment. So some of you might be wondering, what's the difference between a pastel color and a muted color? Basically a pastel color is a pure hue or color at a lighter tone. For example, if you have a magenta red and you mix that with white to lighten it to make a light rose pink, on the other hand, a muted color would be a more impure, desaturated hue, or really muted is just another word for grayed or dulled. It refers to colors that have low saturation. The opposite of a muted color would be a vivid color or a saturated color. Muted colors can belong to any hue family or color family and appear light dark or mid-tone. So I do think that is a little bit of where we get confused sometimes and we might mistake a lighter toned muted color for a pastel color. Like I said, a pastel color will be white, like more pure color, whereas the muted color will be more gray, dull, kind of dirty, near neutral or chromatic gray. There are actually other color combinations you can make to make more muted colors. For example, you can make a less saturated red by mixing it with green, brown, or any earth tone colors, or black or gray, even white, depending on what the color saturation is you're starting with. This will in turn create a color that isn't as bright. Instead, it's more subdued, soft, or dimmed down. You might want to think about it as the effect that happens when you dim light or turn down a lamp. By removing the brightness, you're kind of creating that soft, ethereal glow to the room. So you might also have heard these colors being referred to as Morandi colors. I do have a Color Stories episode. I'll link in the description if you want to go check that out and hear about it in a little bit more detail more. It's more about the artist, the Morandi color system, which is also called advanced grays sometimes. The Morandi color system mainly refers to gray colors with low saturation and lightness as we have already been talking about. It's a summary of a set of color rules based on the color scheme of Morandi's color blending. In his paintings, gray is added in proportion to each color, so viewers can feel that overall luster of the painting being dimmed, hazy, and ethereal. The contrast is not obvious. In Morandi's still life works, subtle variations of these shades of gray can often be seen. Morandi's grays are largely influenced by the oxidization and discoloration of Renaissance era frescoes. Fresco is a technique of mural painting executed upon freshly laid lime plaster. Water is used as the vehicle for the dry powder pigment to merge with the plaster and with the setting of the plaster, the painting becomes an integral part of the wall. So according to this paper that I am currently reading from, it's called Emotional Gray. 
emotional analysis of Morandi color systems in web design. I'll link it for you guys in the description box if you want to read it. It's pretty interesting. It says after hundreds of years, most of the colors were no longer as bright and gorgeous as before. Low saturation colors lack visual aggression. Therefore, it reduces the impact of the color on the viewer's mood. The paper does go on to say Morandi once explained his concept of painting as what we can see in this objective world is never as real as what we see and understand. Things exist, but they have no inner meaning of their own, no meaning that we attach to them. That's why Morandi's paintings of colored bottles and jars are not bright, since the gray tone itself is a discharm of Morandi himself to the sensory world, observing the visual form world in a pure way. So I do think that kind of wraps up our little mini lesson on muted colors. What's the difference between muted and pastel colors? I actually learned a few things I didn't know in researching this subject. Let me know if you'd like me to continue working on this page in an additional video. Maybe we'll make a series of it. I don't know if I'll necessarily be giving you another coloring lesson or we'll be listening to music or something else. Maybe we'll listen to a short story or something. But let me know what you'd like to do down below in the comments. And just to follow up and give my final thoughts on this 72 Harmonious set, I do really like them a lot. I do love the colors. I do think some of the colors seem very similar to each other. And I do think the set is missing maybe at least one desaturated red color and uh, maybe a yellow would be nice. I feel like they could have done without a few of those similar colors. But combining them with the 48 pastel tints does kind of make up a more complete set in my opinion. I did think some of the pastel tints did actually lean a little bit more muted or gray toned at the time they came out. So at the time I'm making this, they do retail for $34.99 on the Castle Arts website, but there is a strike through price that says $54.99. Now I don't know if that's ever going to be retailed for $54.99, but they are saying that this is an introductory price, I guess, the $34.99. If they do sell this for $54.99, I think they are crazy, <laughs> in my personal opinion. I do not think this set is worth $54.99. I would definitely wait for a sale if you miss getting them for the $34.99. Considering it's such a unique color palette at the moment and the tin is really pretty, They it comes with all the paperwork and the little pamphlet on how to do different coloring techniques, I do think it's worth it for the $34.99. So I would definitely love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this set or Castle Arts in general. If you are a fan of these muted colors, if you think you're gonna pass, do you think this is going to be the next coloring set trend? Is it gonna be the new pastels everywhere uh, or do you think it's not gonna hit and nobody's gonna be into it so I definitely want to hear your thoughts and opinions and I hope you all have a really great rest of your day happy coloring and I'll see you guys next time